the best audio interface in the game just got even better. This is the Apollo X second generation by Universal Audio, and it's just been redesigned, upgraded, and updated in all the best ways possible. Ask any music industry professional from songwriters to producers to engineers which audio interface has contributed to the most hits in the past 10 years, just about everyone will say Apollo. And rightfully so. I mean, no other interface on the market offers this caliber of software and hardware integration, giving you the best low latency recording workflow with sauce. And if you're not sure what I mean by that, I'll explain more on that later. Because in this Apollo review, I'm going over everything new in generation two. From design changes, sound quality improvements, software updates, brand new UAD plugins, essential vocal tools, speaker and headphone corrections, and so much more. Plus a direct A-B comparison between the new and old Apollo X generations that you're not gonna wanna miss. And before we begin, check out the new Apollo and other great gear from Universal Audio at your local Guitar Center or guitarcenter.com. So let's jump into what's new in the design department. The entire Apollo X second generation lineup features a number of new updates, and today I've got a second generation Apollo X twin and Apollo X6 to check out. But all the devices across the entire second generation lineup feature these same exciting new updates. Let's start out with the new X6. The most distinguishing factor is that new light silver color that kind of reminds me of the original Apollos from back in 2012. However, this new generation has a flatter, sleeker, more modern faceplate, which I really like. It kind of reminds me of the design from the LA-2A Silver and they look amazing side by side. The new oval shaped buttons definitely modernize the design and make it visually unique from previous Apollos. And they have a really satisfying clicky sound when you press them. The knobs feel extra high quality and smooth with some added resistance and more satisfying clicky noises as you dial in your settings. And on the X6, you can press the preamp and monitor knobs, which kind of work like hidden buttons for channel selection or speaker muting. They've kept the same familiar LED lighting that indicates your audio levels, knob positions, and button status. And everything can be controlled remotely using the console app. But we're gonna dive deeper into that during the software section of this review. On the back of the X6, you'll find all of your inputs and outputs, which from right to left include your mic preamp inputs, line level audio inputs, monitor outputs, extra stereo analog outs, digital SPDIF input and output, word clock sync to connect other digital devices, optical ADAT in and out, Thunderbolt 3 connectivity and a second port for daisy chaining, and a high quality power supply connection that securely snaps into place. Switching over to the Apollo X twins, we have that same familiar form factor, but with the new oval buttons, light silver faceplate, and black metal exterior. The lights and metering on your Apollo twin work exactly the same as versions in the past, and I think show you all the information you need to perfectly nail your levels. The smaller form factor gives you a more stripped down collection of inputs and outputs to keep the desktop device as portable as possible. If you're just plugging in one or two mics, a synth, a guitar, a pair of speakers, then you'll have everything that you need in this compact device. But in my home studio, I have an analog vocal chain, multiple synthesizers, an analog master chain, and multiple audio analyzers, and the X6 covers everything I need and more. But that's enough about the outsides. Let's dive into all the improvements on the inside of the second generation Universal Audio Apollos. The number one thing that I care about when testing a new audio interface is the sound quality. And the new Apollos sound better than ever with their upgraded converters for both analog to digital and digital to analog. The second generation Apollo feature mastering grade 24-bit 192 kilohertz converters with 129 dB of dynamic range in the Apollo X twins, 130 dB of dynamic range in the Apollo X6 and X8, and 133 dB of dynamic range in the X16 and X16D. Comparing that to the previous generation of Apollos, you're getting a 2 to 3 dB increase of dynamic range from your audio interface. That translates to better sounding inputs and outputs for your recording, mixing, mastering, and monitoring. Upgraded conversion means upgraded sound quality across the board. So that makes me a very happy Apollo enthusiast. The second generation headphone outputs also have around five times less total harmonic distortion plus noise coming in 14 to 15 dB lower than generation one. Now that sounds like a huge upgrade for headphone users. 
but instead of just talking about it, let's actually hear the improved audio interface in action, starting with the microphone inputs. Here's some vocals recorded through the first and second generation Apollos in an A-B test. Yeah, you know just what I want. I know you got the body, the key to turn me on. I'm on my way, I'm on my way. Already synchronized. Don't gotta say it, baby. Live for it, do or die. I'm on my way, I'm on my way. Getting lost in you. There's a jungle in your eyes. Animals run wild. But the way you move, supernatural roll me, get come alive. Now let's compare the mixed vocals over the track. Yeah, you know just what I want. I know you got the body, the key to turn me on. I'm on my way, I'm on my way. Already synchronized, don't gotta say it, baby. Live for it, do or die. I'm on my way. I'm on my way Getting lost in you There's a jungle in your eyes And I'm most run wild But the way you move Supernatural make it come alive. Next, we'll compare the quality of the speaker outputs. Now we'll hear how it sounds for mixing and mastering through analog gear. This puts all those new converters to work at the same time to really hear the compounding difference of the improved sounding inputs and outputs together. Finally, I'm going to do a headphone test to compare the quality in the headphone amps. Hmm. 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 The new converters to my ears sound so much better in both stereo image, high frequencies, mid-range clarity, bass presence, and overall dynamics. The sound just had slightly better structure to it through the better converters. Listening through analog gear really showcased the improvements in quality, but even in the first mic preamp test, I could hear slightly tighter and cleaner sound from the source. Plus, in the headphone amp test, I also noticed the same improvements in dynamics, smooth frequency response, and stereo width. Overall, I'd say the Apollo X second gen is worth the upgrade just for the sound quality improvements alone. But sound quality is literally just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to what makes Apollo the best audio interface in the game. Universal Audio's integration between hardware and software is literally unmatched. The star of the show has always been 
console, where you can load up your favorite UAD plugins to process your live headphone mix to perfection outside of your DAW. The importance of taking your headphone mix outside the DAW is you'll no longer need to worry about buffer size settings, plug-in count, track count, heavy virtual instruments, or CPU spikes. Once you get used to having that console app for your headphone mix, you will never want to go without it. The console app also has some huge updates to help you and your studio sound better than ever. First, auto gain. You can now let your interface intelligently set its own input level based on your performance. This ensures the incoming signal never clips or sounds too quiet. Just perform some practice vocals and let it listen and determine the perfect level for your vocals or instruments. This takes all the guesswork out of setting your levels and makes Apollo more user-friendly for beginners than ever. Bass management is a brand new tool to help you correctly integrate a subwoofer into your setup using all the DSP and crossover controls you need for anything from the basic 2.1 stereo setup, which is just two speakers and a sub, all the way up to 9.1.6 Dolby Atmos setups, all within console. Next, monitor correction, powered by Sonarworks Sound ID Reference. This helps you measure, calibrate, and correct the frequency response of your speakers in your room, all within your Apollo using the console app. Simply set up your sound ID measuring microphone and follow the steps in the guide like this. Measurements in progress. Now you can achieve a perfectly flat frequency response with any pair of speakers in any room using your Apollo and Sonarworks sound ID reference. Plus headphone corrections for you to flatten the sound of any popular pair of studio headphones you like. Now that's next level. This software update is also going to be available for first generation Apollo users. That means you're going to get access to all the features that I just mentioned, except for AutoGain. AutoGain is only available in the second generation Apollos. Outside of console, there's also some exciting new updates in UAD Spark. Spark is Universal Audio's native plugin collection that you can use infinitely in your sessions, regardless of whether or not you have an Apollo connected to your computer. They've just added the UAD SSL bus compressor, SSL channel strip, some exciting new guitar amps, and my personal favorite, Topline Vocal Suite and Topline Key Finder. Topline Vocal Suite is your new go-to all-in-one UAD Spark plugin for processing vocals. Start out by tuning your vocals to perfection on the first page. Formant and pitch shifting. On the next page, add saturation, compression, EQ, and filtering. And air for brightness. Then finalize your chain with wet effects like modulation, delay, and reverb. My favorite knob, effects ducking. Let's hear our mix before and after top line vocal suite. Bypass. And don't know what key your song is in? No problem. Load up Key Finder on any instrument or your master bus. Press listen, then send your scale and key data straight to Topline Vocal Suite. This lets you edit an entire vocal template's key in one click. Super convenient. Aside from saucing up my headphone mix, console has a few other features that I use a lot. For example, these buttons let you choose whether or not you record dry or wet signal into your DAW. Turn Apollo's transparent preamp into a classic analog sounding mic preamp by inserting a unison preamp here above your inserts. A useful but somewhat hidden feature I use all the time is called digital mirroring, which basically means loopback. Loopback makes it extra easy to live stream or screen record using your Apollo, allowing your audience to easily hear everything that you hear. After you've enabled digital mirroring, simply open your DAW of choice, go to the settings, and enable the stereo input 25 26. I like to give this input the nickname loopback. 
Then select your loopback input and your microphone input, and you're ready to record perfect audio for your tutorial, ScreenFlow, OBS. This is literally how I make every tutorial and video on my channel. So my voiceover gets recorded up here, and all the audio from my DAW, QuickTime, web browser, or any application gets captured down here. Nice. Plus a completely free DAW called Luna that works on both Mac and Windows. Luna features everything you need to record and produce professional sounding music with a very simple learning curve. I'll link some of my favorite Luna tutorials in the description below if you want to dive deeper. Finally, the biggest difference between all the Apollos in the second generation lineup is the price. So let's break it down. Apollo Twins start at just $1,199, Apollo X4 for $1,999, Apollo X6 for $2,499, Apollo X8 for $2,899, and Apollo X8P for $3,499. Every Apollo has the Essentials price, which includes the 20 basic UAD plugins, and a Studio Plus edition, which includes 50 UAD plugins for $300 more. Now that's some sauce right there. So who exactly is the new second generation Apollo a perfect choice for? I would say anybody who's really serious about their sound quality, songwriting, music production, or recording business. Dropping one, two, or $3,000 on any piece of gear means that you should see yourself using this for at least the next five plus years, maybe even more. Because after all, Apollos have always been built like tanks and stood the test of time, and this second generation is no different. When you invest in an Apollo, you're investing in the best technology, the best sound quality, and a system that will grow and expand with your music career as you progress. Special thank you to Universal Audio for sending me this Apollo X6 and Apollo Twin to review, and if you want to upgrade or get your first Apollo, check out the Guitar Center links that I've added in the description below, and I'll catch you guys next time in another video. Oh yeah, and all the voiceovers in this video were also recorded with an Apollo.